I'm ready to warm up. Oh, come on. Stop. You don't even like it. <laughs> no, I know. I know. Well, no, I'm ready to... I'm... You know, I think I quite... I'd look... I'd... I'd quite like to warm up with a friend. Because yeah. I'm yeah. sure she would make a really nice friend. You know, she probably will make a really nice friend. <laughs> she laughed suddenly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not that. Oh. Heck, I don't even have to stretch my legs. Huh. Is this a confirmer <laughs> statement? She bounces up and down a couple of times, giving a passing impression of standing on a pair of springs. Her leg blades seem to be quite elastic. <laughs> Let's go. So we both take off around the track, and I can immediately see that she wasn't lying about being good at running. Emmy moves fluidly, throwing herself into the run with a sort of wild abandon. I find myself concentrating more on running properly. Hand spread, right? And something about hitting on the balls of your feet rather than the heels. Mm. I try to match my strides at Emmy's, but it's pretty difficult. Apparently I'm not very good at it. Maybe Emmy could help me with that sometime. I'm really not feeling up to more than a couple of laps today, and slow to a walk pretty quickly. Emmy keeps running and doesn't seem to notice I've stopped until she passes me a second time. She quickly skids to a halt, breathing steadily in contrast to my own somewhat gasping demeanour. Finished already? I hang my head ruefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not in very good shape right now. Emmy nods and then grins at me again. She seems to do a lot of smiling. Well, the important thing is, is like, you're started, right? Next time, you just have to, like, hold out longer and then longer and longer and eventually you'll be great. I'll keep that in mind. But I think right now I'm gonna go get ready for class. Shouldn't you? Oh, Emmy shrugged yeah. unconcerned. Nah, I got like plenty of time. I notice that she's not wearing a watch. Are you sure? Another careless shrug. Not really, but I've got to finish my routine. Sorry, I'll find, I'll find it. Don't worry. See you later, Hassel. There we go. Oh uh, yeah, see ya. You? Yep. I'm not sure whether this morning's experiment was a success or a failure, no. but I admit that I do feel slightly good about getting out there this morning. I don't know whether that voice was a success or a failure, but there you go. There you go. And like Emmy said, I just need to keep at it in order to get better, right? Practice makes perfect, or something like that. Hmm. It's nice at least to feel like I've taken some semblance of control over my own health. I'll have to try to keep this up. I head back to the dorms to wash and change into my uniform, trying to resist the urge to take a really long and hot shower. I'm tired from all the running, so I just want to unwind, but I don't want to break my slowly building routine of getting to school before the morning rush. Hmm. After taking a long shower anyway. <laughs> so he's like, I'm not going to take a shower. I'm going to beat yeah. the rush. And then he's like, nah, yeah. fuck it. I'm going to take a shower. I dry myself off and get out of the stall to put on my clothes. Oh. Out of nowhere, a shadow appears within the mist, looming and radiating malicious intent. It bursts through the fog. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad there's a fig leaf. Yup. Yeah. Let me just... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Fair enough. S Sup? What are you doing here? What the hell? You scared me. What's your problem? Where are your nips, bro? Where are your, where are your nips, bro? Yeah, where... That's the, that's the one thing that throws me out of anime every time, is that bros don't have nips. And I'm like... Maybe they're all clones, because a clone wouldn't need nipples. Yeah, right. You know, actually, men don't really need nipples at all. You no. Know that? It's kind of like a leftover. Well, it's one of those things that is decided, like, before the the other part is. Yes, exactly. 
Anyway, I should be asking you that. I've been looking for you all over the place, my man. What do you mean, all over the place? I want to ask if he's been looking around for me like that. <laughs> start naked. But hold my tongue back. I finally realize I'm still naked too. And quickly hold up my shirt in front of me. But Kenji doesn't seem to notice a thing. Oh, he loves His it. His glasses man. are fogged up. But then, why doesn't he wipe them off? Is his vision so bad that it's like he's perpetually seeing through fog? You know, your room and yeah, that's it. Hey, I mean, I still had to get up though. Whatever, it's not important. Can I borrow some money? <laughs> he puts on an innocent face and looks away, trying very hard to look very casual. It doesn't work. He's as transparent as his window pane sized glasses. Sorry, folks, I'm eating cookies. Oh. Talking kind of neutrally cookies? like this, wearing nothing, feels awkward. What kind of cookies you eating, bro? Oh, mate. Maryland double chalk. 65. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, mate. Oh, my mouth is salivating, actually. I'm not even joking. Mm -hmm. They're amazing. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Actually, somehow it's even more awkward to be naked in front of someone when they can't see me being naked. To say nothing of the fact that he's naked as well. I tried to brush the feeling off with little success. Uh, money? Sure, don't give him money. Awesome. Wait, why'd you need it? Uh, can't you just give it to me because I had the goodwill not to run through your pockets while you were in the shower? I could have, but Ooh, nice. I exercised restraint. And in the end, isn't that the th isn't the thought? Isn't it the thought? It does the, the, the thought that counts. Come on, be a me, be a jolly old pal. <laughs> I can't read. Acting for like show is like show jumping. If anyone out there is a fan of horses, they will know what I mean. Because well, and accents, they will know what I mean. Because sometimes you'll find a jump, and it's easy, and you just go over it, no bother. And then sometimes you come up to a work a jump that should be absolutely fine, and you stumble and you fall. Yeah. But and the more you know, practice, like, the better you get. You hit shower, you hit shower, you hit that fucking... You glided over that. Like, it was nobody's business. Like, yeah. that was a pure jump. That was a that was a high-scoring jump, my friend. And then you got to... <laughs> it's hard. I'm getting there. I know, listen, I know. I know. The more... Listen, the more I do it, the better the I'll more, get. The better you'll get. You know, this is, this is going to be... I feel, I feel, I feel like, I feel like Luke and your Yoda on my back. Just, mm, accents. Just are more like me. Practice <laughs> your mouth. Anyway. This makes no sense. If it's the thought that counts, I should withhold payment, since his thoughts were so clearly impure, and his tensions are probably even more sinister than since he can't tell me what they are. I say as much to him. I'm offended, man, but if that is your game, then fine. I guess I have no choice. I want to order a pizza, but I already have most of the cost of the pizza. I need your help for the rest. I got some of that pizza too, right? No. Are you serious? Yeah. I would give you some, but you have class. You don't have time to eat pizza. What about you? I'm not going to class. I have to wait for the pizza and pay the guy, and then eat it. It's not easy. You have to obtain the pizza stealthily. If you don't, everyone will see you and the pizza, and they will ask for a slice. It's, it's a true. hard world out there. Everyone yep. wants a piece. Then you're left pizzaless in an unforgiving world. It's happened before. That's how share I Share the pizza, Kenji. Yeah, share the pizza. Right? <laughs> uh, anyway. Every day, I plan my vengeance. So that when the people who wronged me order a pizza, I will be there. Ever vigilant. Kenji strikes a dramatic pose completely without irony. But yeah, I only need like 400 yen. Please, you're my only hope. 
I can't go outside and buy my own pizza, it's too far. I try not to go out unless it's absolutely necessary, governor. <laughs> Fuck me, what happened? <laughs> Let me tell know. you what happened the last time I went out without carefully planning it out in advance. I was outside. I can't remember what I was doing. Something. Standing. Maybe wondering about how I got here. And then, out of nowhere, it happened. Like a flash of lightning splitting the sky. Like how you split a sandwich into two equal pieces to make it more manageable to hold and eat. A bird crapped on my head. It was the second most shocking moment of my life. Oh. What was the first? Yeah. He ignores me and keeps going. I want to grab him and shake him. Is he just trying to keep momentum? I'll go with that, even if it's more likely he just didn't hear me. It was like in the openings to some kind of anime show, you know, how there is always a part where the main dude is fighting his rival and they fly at each other and clash swords and there's like big dramatic coloured auras and zoom. It was like that, but with poo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I need some money. Please, don't leave me hanging, my man. I only need like 1,000 yen. Wait. I thought, I thought it was 400. <laughs> okay. What? I'll pay you back, I swear. You better. That's what it means to borrow stuff. I don't know when I'll be able to pay you back. You have one week. Kenji winces and makes a noise like a dying cow. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? A particular disturbing fight, given that his baton is conducting freely. <laughs> <laughs> He's standing there, cock out, just like. Uh, uh, you're not supposed to be so tight assed about money between. Tight asked, asked Julian. We're English around here. About money between brothers in arms, man. Men have it bad enough as it is. Did you know that male porn stars only make about half of what female porn stars make? Yeah, because nobody Did wants to look know? at them. Did you know that Kenji's yeah. a misogynist? I say, what? No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Yeah. That's crazy, yeah. John. Yeah, That's crazy I may have mentioned talk. this before, but, um,. Yeah, no, he, he is. That's fucking he mental. Hates, he hates women. Excuse me. Um, he hates women. That doesn't mean anything unless you're a porn star. So, maybe I am a porn star on the side, struggling to make ends meet as I fight the feminist agenda. And you can't even spot me, you cr You can't even spot me your crumbs, you bastard. Nobody understands. Nobody. Wouldn't feminists be against pornography in the first place? Uh, depends Not necessarily. Ask. Not necessarily. Depends who you ask. Yeah. There's depends feminist you agenda ask. stuff again. This stuff is important. I can see that you don't give a shit, but it's a serious here. Feminists are a dangerous enemy, make no mistake. You take them lightly, and you'll wake up in the morning with a knife in your back. Bam! Out of nowhere. How do you wake up in the morning if someone stabbed you in your sleep? Huh. Women are terrible at stabbing things. Yeah, he's uh, he's awful. Oh, yeah. I thought you just said don't take them lightly. Well, I don't take them lightly for the big things. Individually, they're not a threat. But if there was some kind of war, like a big war with men on the side and the feminist forces on the other side, it'd be pretty ugly. And that day will come. When the feminists come out of the central top secret worldwide feminist headquarters and say, It's on now, mother flippers. What? You're, you're being ridiculous. There's no big worldwide, worldwide feminist headquarter whatever. Where would they even hide that? I mean, it would have to be massive. You couldn't hide that on Earth. Someone would know it's a big fortress with women only in it. Who said it was on Earth? You're crazy. I turn away from Kenji and start practicing frowning faces. Oh, yeah, in the mirror so I can figure out what kind of frown will best express my emotions. He can't see me from this distance anyway. Which, unfortunately, means that he just keeps on ranting about 
keeps on ranting without any regard to sense or sensibility. Yeah, there is a war going on. A war that not many know about, but it's a great one that will one day boil over and encompass all of the known world. Then we'll have to pick sides. We'll have to make a stand. In fact, it's happening right now. Imagine it. The bloody battlefield. A vicious conflict without end. I almost gave up when I thought this cause was silly. When I grew tired of the bleakness of a fight, when I mistook the time, the power went out for a feminist raid and thought the end was near. But then I realized that if I gave up, it would all be over. And I was like, whoa, I knew I had to get serious because I am the last sane man in an insane world. It's about duty. Must be pretty crappy movement if it all hinges on one naked guy running in a bathroom to another naked guy. So can I have the money? He's blocking the way out. It's getting cold because I'm still naked and I want to go to class. So I agreed to spot him the money. Awesome. Thanks, my dude. We should go bowling later on. No, we're not going but bowling. I'm going bowling. Yeah, it's the ultimate sport. There are almost no women bowlers either, making it also the manliest sport. The guy's insane. Should I should I wear my pink bowling shirt with matching shoes or the pastel green with flower accents? There are bowling clothes? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Anyway, you'd better pay me back. I think a bowling shirt actually, depending on what's on the back. I yeah. would like a pen pals. Uh, shirt, the yeah. Simpsons team. Yeah, I would, I would like a bowling shirt. Not going. They, they just look nice. Feel like buying me a Simpsons uh, themed bowling shirt, then uh, I wouldn't be mad. Uh, yeah, hit me up and I'll might, send you we, my we might create a PO box. box. Who knows? Yeah. Um, yeah. I can pay you back in stuff, right? I don't have the time to ask him to elaborate on what that means. I don't I know. I have to go to class. You're kind of in the way. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I don't want to hold you up, and I have some stuff to do myself. The time has come. Time for what? I just like saying that. Okay, now the time has really come. For what? I have to use the bathroom. Get out of it. I was just going to. And what does that mean? It's a big bathroom. So, I have to be alone or I can't go. The pressure. Okay. What if someone else comes in? I'll think of something. Guy's perfectly happy to be naked in front of you. Yeah, but... But you won't poo in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see. Yeah. It's a complicated man. Ah. This weird okay. I my man. Pack it looks kind of silly reflected in this one. <laughs> In his glasses. Maybe we should make him sound like Morrissey. <laughs> he either doesn't notice or doesn't see anyway, so I get dressed and run back to my room, feeling as though an eternity has passed since I woke up. Um, I don't... I only know Morrissey's singing voice. It's like, he his speaking is kind of like... I've never heard him speak. Anyway. I've never heard him speak either. Uh, that, that, is, that is time I will never get back. I'll get him for this somehow. But right now, I have to get to class. Yeah. I'm the first person in class today, although I think I'm a little too early. Then again, sitting alone here for 20 minutes sure beats having to suffer that type of yeah, tension. Yeah, man, fucking tell me about it. The combination of fatigue, frustration, and boredom starts making me feel very tired. I blank out for a second, waking up when my head hits the surface of my desk. Rubbing my forehead, <laughs> I realize this is as good a reason as any not to stay up. Or to stay up for now and stop coming to class so early later. Eventually, I hear a tapping noise outside in the hallway, and Lily's tall figure appears in the doorway. Aww. She's not in this class, so she must have some other business. Maybe she's looking for Hanako. Lily stops at the door, looking hesitant, as if she was a vampire who can't come in unless invited. Aww. I consider doing so because she looks rather lonesome standing there. She steps in of her own accord, though after straightening her skirt and shirt collar as if it was important to look prim when entering her classroom. Excuse me. She calls into the quiet classroom with a probing, delicate voice. 
I realize the silence might unnerve her because of her blindness, so I break it. Uh, good morning, Lily? Hesa, good morning. I didn't hear you come in. I wonder if she thinks it's suspicious I didn't say anything to her before. It's likely. If I were too big, uh, if I were to tell too big a lie now, it would sink me. <coughs> well, I was already here, just asleep until now. Oh, have you seen Hanako today by any chance? No, she seems to come in only just before the bell rings, or after that. Do you want me to tell her something for you? No, it's fine. It's strange, but I think we're the only two people in the school right now. I didn't hear oh. anyone else on my way here. Oh. I shouldn't have gone up so early today, I guess. It's not going to pull a Doki Doki on us. Okay. Uh, don't worry. I, I know. I know, John. Don't worry. I don't think anything will pull a Doki Doki on you. Good. Uh, it's just Doki Doki does that. For those of you who've watched the series and already know. Um... You're chastising yourself for doing something that other people should. Punctuality is a good thing. I think so, anyway. It's a very busy morning today. The festival is coming up soon, and today is the deadline for event registration, budget reports, and any other official paperwork. It could be that everyone's trying to complete the necessary forms at the last minute. Maybe that is why it's so quiet today. Uh, what was her voice? Hi! Hi! Uh I think so. Um, <laughs> don't remember. Like, no. <laughs> um, oh, aye, aye. <laughs> hey, <laughs> uh, you might have to give me a minute. Uh, actually, do you mind if I just watch an earlier episode to remind myself? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, we'll see you in a second, guys. You see you in a second. Sorry, <laughs> I care about this. We're back. We're back. I remember what she sounds like now. <laughs> Hit it. All right. Um, did you did you read the thing? Misha pops into the room with shoes in it as if on cue, shouting with a loudness that makes Lily visibly flinch. Hi, he John. There we go. Hi. Look, oh. it's the class representative. Hello. Lily smiles, probably amused by Misha, or Shizune's use of the word look. Good morning. Of course, you're not the representative of this class, right? Right? I'm not. Lily seems a little more guarded in her answers to Shizune than she was with me the other day. I guess they really don't get all get along at all. Yeah, that's not. I I have a feeling that Shizune is just being a bit of a bit of a pippy pippy bum. Then I realized that Lily might actually not know Shizune is present, and she's trying to detect whether or not she is to know who she's talking to. Oh. For all she knows, she's talking to Misha. But knowing that she and Shizune are practically inseparable, she might expect Shizune being the one that actually talks. Damn, how complicated. It is complicated. Yeah. I decided to help Lily out for my own peace of mind more than anything else. You're, you're here early, Shizune. You were here even earlier than us! Yeah, sus. Um, <laughs> Misha <laughs> puffs out her cheeks angrily. Why is she getting angry? Does she feel emotions on Shizune's behalf also, too? It's not that weird, though, that Shizune didn't like my little comment. It's true, I was here earlier than them, so me saying something like that could definitely be misinterpreted as anything. Sus. Even to she, especially to Shizune, who doesn't have the benefit of hearing tone to gauge intent. She's just getting raw text, bro. Uh, before I can start weighing whether or not I should apologize, Shizune has already moved on. Class rep, it's a good thing you're here. We have to talk. The festival's coming up in three days, right? Every other class has already handed in their projected budget reports for their events, even the first years, except you. <laughs> There is still time to hand it in, isn't there? <laughs> today! The deadline is today! You're certainly taking your time, aren't you? If I had it my way, I'd have all the necessary paperwork days ago. But someone, I had to say, the deadline, please extend it. 
Yes, that was me. Planning something on this scale is not a small task. And a week is too small a time frame to expect a whole class to work out such a complex issue completely. Do you want to know what's harder than distributing the funds for one class? And then handling the same matter for every class in the school? And then some! The one who does that is me! Nisha puts her hands on her hips and stands up straight. Wow, she is really getting into the role. Lily doesn't look like she's very amused, though. Hey, she's not- aren't you being a little too hard on her? Still a whole day left. Please, Hisso, it's alright. Lily seems happy I'm taking her side, but a bit conflicted that I might not think she can take care of herself. If this is about the budget, then I'm disappointed you think I've forgotten about it. I understand how important it is. Then, can I have it, please? She's in a, she might not have it on her at this exact second. It's not here right now. I asked two students to take care of it for me. Students from my class. She emphasises the last sentence much to my surprise. She knows about Shizune and Misha's efforts to rope me into the student council. I guess word must have gotten round, so now she's using me as ammo against Shizune. It just gets better and better. According to the Who, like, by whose definitions is this better? Everyone's arguing. It was your responsibility! A budget report isn't something you should just be delegating away! As class rep, it's your job to be on top of things! Mate, no, you're being an absolute fucking idiot. You should delegate as much work as you possibly can, alright? That's yeah. smart leadership. All right. Yeah. I don't like she's in there at all. I'm. I'm really. I'm. I'm falling She's a control out. freak. She has to be in charge of everything. Oh no! Not a fan. Not enjoying this. Mm. Worst girl. Sorry, I said it. Any 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 she's in there stands right. Fucking come after me. I don't care. I don't care. You should meet her dad. Actually, her dad's crazy. Oh. Probably explains everything. This kind of disregard for proper procedure is just terrible. They completed it, being capable of doing so, but the students have been sick recently, so they could not come to the school and give it back to me. If you want, I will apologize on their behalf for getting sick. Okay. Although Michelle misses Lily's little jab entirely, she's in it doesn't, and she seems torn between being offended by Lily's daring and jumping for joy at the prospect of a challenge. Don't they live here at the school? That's a five minute walk, you know. What could they possibly have that prevents them from taking five minutes out of their busy lives to drop off something that will affect the enjoyment of their entire class? <clears throat> Lily opens her mouth to say something, but she's only closes the gap between them and starts signing furiously, waving her hands around like an orchestra conductor. <laughs> Misha tries her best to convey the same passion, but can't seem to lose her normal cheerful tone. <laughs> The result is interesting and somewhat surreal. <laughs> and what's with the attitude? I said that it's something you should be delegating away. Are you the class representative or aren't you? Mm. Tell me the names of those two students. They should have your job if you can't even handle something this simple yourself. One form isn't the full extent of what I'm supposed to take care of. Lily's tone is growing slightly impatient. Oof. She is doing a good job of not letting Shizune see how unsettled she's becoming. She's playing her cards close to her chest. Shizune, on her other hand, wraps her fingers cheerfully along the edge of her glasses, knowing Lily can neither hear nor see how excited she is. Pure bam-up merchant, man. She's getting a kick out of it. Yeah. Of course, you do so much, class rep. It must be so difficult being you. Lily tightens her lips at Misha's words, clearly understanding the intent behind them, even though Misha delivers them without even a hint of the sarcasm which they were meant to have. Oh, we're gonna continue with this shitstorm in the next episode. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I'm, it's oh, gonna be real. oh, it's I'm, gonna I'm be real. angry. I don't. You're oh, angry? oh, mad? I don't like it. You're mad, bro. Don't like. Oh, I'm mad, bro. I'm so mad, bro. Right. I'm gonna All save. Right. Well, if you mad, then tell us in the comments, and. uh We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Oh, yeah, like, do subscribe, it. and do all the other yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, comment, do everything. Right, bye. Yeah, bye.
part-timers, we do this part-time. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe.